We say farewell to two of Channel 4's favorite faces tonight, Don Westbrook and Phil Johnson. For the past 40 years, both have been a constant here. Don Westbrook has been a solid, dependable weathercaster, giving us the daily forecast is his uniquely smooth style. Well, it's just been a delightful way to make a living. I never or rarely have felt, even getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning, that I was going to work. It's never really felt like work to me. Uh, it's just been a delightful way to do enjoyable stuff with incredible people and get paid for it. It's just been terrific. Don Westbrook will be inducted into the Greater New Orleans Broadcasters Hall of Fame tomorrow night. Another important and unique part of our broadcast over the past 38 years has been the editorial by Phil Johnson. Phil and his editorial have become an institution, but tonight he'll deliver his final commentary. And we wish him good luck in retirement. Angela Hill looks back at the man and his work. Gala Friday is to raise still. He has editorialized on everything from war to water fountains. But Phil Johnson's imprint on local television far exceeds being the longest running editorialist in America. Good evening. Forty years ago, when Phil arrived at WWL, he was a young but veteran newspaper writer, and television was a child. Within two years, he became the face and voice of the station. New Orleans and the nation awoke today to a crime of great and savage violence. In Jackson, Mississippi, a man named Medgar Evers, a Negro, a leader of the NAACP, was shot in the back from ambush and killed. Before I had the beard, I had three chins, and people said, look at that fat fellow. Now they say, isn't he interesting? <laughs> but as an editorialist, he set standards, standards that remain four decades later. Nobody ever told me at any time, write about this or don't write about that. Uh, it was always uh, up and above board. You, you, you do what you think you should do, and it became the station policy. Television was growing up fast, and Phil was raising the bar for local news, literally bringing the world to New Orleans. His first documentary was on Vatican II. We went back for the coronation of Pope Paul. Uh, we went back for Archbishop Hannon when he was named bishop here. He brought us the new frontier of Israel and took us through a hole in the bamboo curtain, the first non-network newsman to get into China after its revolution. Tiananmen Square the square of heavenly peace in Peking. In Vietnam, he found our local men to share their stories at Christmas time. We're talking to a sergeant named Donner in South Vietnam, and you've got- Stayed there about a month, Del Hall and I, and uh, got shot at and got chased around, but it was a fantastic, uh, fantastic piece. Phil took us into King Tut's tomb and introduced us to Alexander the Great. His international reporting brought national awards, three Peabody's and an Emmy. But most of all, it set the tone for the kind of news operation WWL would be. Local stations were content to take the network feed, and we, we sort of uh, turned that around. We went ourselves. It was under Phil's 11-year tenure as news director that WWL began to build the news team that today is recognized nationally. This is Louisiana's news leader. As Phil's beard grew grayer, television grew into a sophisticated electronic marvel. But with all its bells and whistles, it will never outgrow the need for the gift Phil Johnson brought to it, the power of the well-written and spoken word. They used to say you, you can write a 20-minute speech in, in, in 15 minutes, but it, it'll take you half a day to write a five-minute speech. That makes sense. It all comes down to good writing. That's the communication. Phil's 40-year journey in broadcasting has taken him across the world, allowed him to make friends with those who were his heroes. But the man who became the face and voice of WWL will always remain the fireman's son and the policeman's brother. And he does not hesitate when asked about his happiest moments. When I got married, that was a happy moment. My children are all happy moments. My grandchildren are deliciously happy moments. 
Phil may say goodbye tonight, but it's not the last we'll hear from him. He's got a book to write. It's been a fascinating life. It's been a marvelous life. Uh, I can do a, a chapter or two just on the home plate in, you know, with these guys there. And God knows how many chapters I'll have from Channel 4. Phil Johnson has made a difference in the field of broadcasting and in the community he chose never to leave. For many of us at Channel 4, he has been our boss, our teacher, our friend, and in at least one case, a surrogate father. From all of us, Phil, we simply say thank you.